Okay, so setting up coils. This is the aluminum coil that I have, and I molded the ends with uh, glue, the edges, and I bunched the aluminum together locally on surfaces. So I could have this aluminum coil operate as a heat sink. Notice the individual lines. The individual lines, as far as the, the wires, are one way, one direction. And it's allowing so that when I use the copper coil, phase over it, it will be in series at 500 pounds, 500 turns per unit. And it's 13 units that have to be applied, that should be applied, that have to be applied to the frontal of the, this uh, aluminum wire heat sink. Once that occurs, because that is, this is the back part of the armor, and uh, this is the front part of the, the armor. This is the part of the thigh that should be here, the couples along here, at the, above the knee. And that's where it's localized. These are parts and segments, so this is 50% of it, 50% of the, the thigh. This is the part, the second part of the office. So, um, I'm just working on that part now, and I finish up the other parts, and I have to stack them with like I said, with um, copper and iron. Notice I have the iron flux right here. And I'm gonna put more flux wire on here, alongside. And the permanent magnet shall be applied around the edges, which are block magnets, and they shall be applied around the edges. I have this in plastic right now, so I can separate the parts, and just put them, place them so they are fit in the area. Then I'm gonna take the plastic off, and uh, resin it, and use uh, uh, glue, I'm trying to use this type of glue, construction glue, and this has a lot of strength and resistance. Um, heat resistant and uh, apply it here. Now the torque force, we know with 500 turn coils at 13 sets, and um, we should know, oh, we should know that when I put the permanent magnets around the edges that the coils in front should oscillate. And when I put also a sheet of coil, I mean a sheet of copper in front of and a sheet of aluminum in front of over the coil, that should co phase and cause these aluminum wires to oscillate, like weaving and reciprocation oscillation. So that deals like in releasing air pressure, being phased, and also to oscillate like a piezo buzzer or like a fan. So the Hertz driver that I'm going to be using is 5500 uh, 5, 5, 5, Hertz, but I, my hope is trying to get up above 20,000 Hertz and above, yeah, above 20,000 Hertz and um, electrical energy. Um, the permanent banks will be around the edges, so it will operate as a transducer horn for acoustic driven. I'm going to be using a car amplifier, and I'll start with the minimum, which is about, I think it's about 3,000 or 5,000 uh, watts. Whereas even though this is going to operate as a transformer with the linear coils that are alongside, and I, then when I put the permanent magnets around the edges, I'm also going to put a coil around the edges so I can cause the whole effect. So if anything moves along the surfaces, it's the ride straight up in the air. And the bunching, this is a, a return uh, uh, wire, so it also unfolds. It's mixed with aluminum steel, and I mean aluminum steel wire, still not magnetic. And um, the magnetic wire I showed you is on the front of the garment, so I'm also going to put it on there too. Now the op this should operate the opposite way, so having the opposite type of force in the opposite direction so that it all moves in a, in a frontal direction or upward, upwardly, and not backwards. It really depends, so switching between phase points of the wire. Um, my name is Ray Morton.